Hello and welcome back friends to another video tutorial from Shomu's Biology and here we want to talk about the easiest way to remember cell signaling pathways means uh, the best and fast possible way to remember any complicated cell signaling is just for you and actually uh, build a device a system which can help you to remember and recall cell signaling quite the easiest way so what is it I'm calling it as a five fingers to remember concept or five finger concept of remembering cell signaling pathways and it is nothing but uh, to think about five fingers uh, so in this case it's your left uh, hand and you, you take the left hand and the palm uh, where all the writing is there right now you have five fingers right and in these five fingers uh, five important parameters of a cell signaling will be justified now whenever you're reading a cell signaling pathway these five parameters are the most important things for every single cell signaling pathway starting from the signaling molecule the very first important parameter the second one is the receptor for the signaling molecule it's not that complicated to remember receptor because commonly most of the cell signaling pathway has the name of the receptor just after the name of the signaling molecule so if your signaling molecule is the growth factor then the receptor will be growth factor receptor if your signaling molecule is cytokine then the receptor will be cytokine receptor and so on now the third important parameter is the cellular activators which are present intercellularly as well as the secondary messengers now not always the second messengers are in correct uh, play but still there are cellular activators that continues to build up the signal amplification cascade inside the cell cytosol and this is where we most of the time get confused because so many proteins name came in and obviously how they interact with one another how they activate one another so generally the activation goes like phosphorylation or phosphorylation things like that so this is what you need to remember the cellular activator is the third important one the fourth important intermediate is transcription activators so our transcription factors now transcription factors are uh, those molecules which can directly take entry inside the nucleus for a eukaryotic cell signaling and those transcription factor proteins are going to bind with the specific regions of the DNA particularly uh, the promoter and operator region of the DNA and they influence uh, the promoter to induce the process of transcription of the target genes now the very first uh, last one and the fifth uh, important intermediate and this is the most important parameter to think about while you're learning a cell signaling process is the cellular effects related to that cell signaling so whenever you heard the name of any cell signaling you need to immediately recall its function in the very first place and that's why it's the most important of all of these five important parameters and one bonus parameter that you should always remember is if there is any mutation to any of the proteins through the signal transduction cascade or if there is any problem uh, with the cell signaling process then what diseases will form what disease will be associated with it that's another thing that you can check but that's uh, additional and optional thing but these are the five most important parameters that you should always follow while preparing for any cell signaling pathway so enough said let's begin with the very first lecture of ours and that's regarding the cyclic AMP signaling pathway we can also call it GPCR pathway we can call it G protein coupled receptor pathway so so many names are there so let's begin to talk about that GPCR pathway or cyclic AMP pathway or CAMP pathway so when we start thinking about CAMP pathway I immediately recall one thing in our mind that is the cellular effect and remember the cell effect in this case of cyclic AMP signaling pathway it's simply allowing the cells to grow the cells to divide so you call it cellular growth cell division mediated function so again recalling that five finger concept of ours we are going to put the exact uh, parameters for cyclic AMP signaling pathway according to this picture and starting from the very first one signaling molecule for a cyclic AMP signaling pathway generally are hormones an example one of one such kind of hormone is adrenaline okay now the receptor simply termed as adrenaline receptor in this case you know GPCR G protein coupled receptor because the cyclic AMP mediated signaling pathway are mostly related with a G protein coupled receptor these are a type of seven transmembrane receptors as well so we can also give them names like adrenaline receptor for a specificity 
Then we can go with the third important parameter, cellular activators or second messenger for cyclic AMP signaling pathway. And that will be adenylyl cyclase. So it's a series of cascades. And what happens, adenylyl cyclase gets activated at the very beginning. It's an enzyme that converts ATP into cyclic AMP. And the cyclic AMP activates protein kinase A. And then sooner the kinase A in an enzyme, which is a kinase, so it will phosphoryl, it can activate other kinases like phosphorylase kinase. Okay. Now the fourth important intermediate, transcription factors. The final set signal cascade molecules are the transcription factors that brings the signal inside the nucleus and allow the transcription to happen. And in this case, the transcription factor is Krebs. Okay, and then finally the Krebs mediated response. So when Krebs binds with the specific region of the DNA binding side, and at as a result of which it influences specific genes to be transcribed and translated into the respective proteins. What cellular effects those proteins are involved with? Example: cell growth, cell cycle progression, and as well as release of other hormones from the body. And we know that one master gland of the hormone secretory gland regulates the secretion of hormone from other glands. This is exactly the way it works. Okay. So these are all the five important parameters that you know. If you know this, you know the cyclic AMP signaling. Now the last thing that you need to know is the sequence. And the easy way to remember the sequence is starting from uh, this finger and going to the opposite finger so that's all starting from adrenaline binding to the gpcr then gpcr is going to activate adenylyl cyclase and adenylyl cyclase is going to activate uh, the as you can see here in this picture adenylyl cyclase is going to convert atp into pka and pka is going to activate phosphorylase kinase and finally those kinases ultimately will activate krebs and krebs goes inside the nucleus and then krebs Trans helps in transcription of specific target genes and they will do the biological effects afterwards. So this is the sequence. So you don't need to recall and remember the sequence. You don't need to mug up the sequence. The only thing that you need to know is look at this picture of five finger concept. If you look at this picture, things get very clear. And one more important thing that I should say is whenever you're looking at the cyclic AMP, this particular term can help you to recall what this cyclic AMP signaling is all about. So this C stands for cell growth. So immediately know the function. A stands for adenine adenylyl cyclase so obviously the cyclic AMP is related to the enzyme activation of adenylyl cyclase and this P stands for PKA protein kinase A so uh, in essence uh, whenever you heard this term CAMP you immediately know it's a cell growth pathway hormone activates the pathway it's linked with adenylyl cyclase and also activates protein kinase A through this pathway and we know the sequence of the pathway if you recall this five finger concept. So that's all for cyclic AMP signaling pathway with the help of the five finger concept. So if you like this video, please hit the like button, share this video with your friends and stay tuned because a four more signaling videos about to come and probably you can see that in the link description as well as you can see in the in the suggested video. So click that and learn the easy way to remember any cell signaling pathway the fastest way as well okay so thank you very much we'll see you in the next video